Hello guys and welcome. In this video I will teach you how to fix Autodesk 3ds Max 2020 or Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 error code 1603. Let me real quick and show it to you. So you try to install Autodesk 3ds Max 2020 or Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 and you got this Autodesk 3ds Max did not install error code 1603 and all kind of these errors. Don't worry, it's not your operating system, it's not your hardware, everything is fine, it's not your fault, it's a fault of the Autodesk software engineers. So um, let me go ahead and show you how to fix it. So I assume that you went to autodesk.com website, you downloaded their web installer, uh, click on that web installer and then web installer asks you where you want to store the uh, 3ds Max um, installation files, you select the folder, in my case I selected the C let me show it to you. C, so it's created under the C Autodesk, Autodesk 3ds Max 2020. Let me real quick and show it to you. Like folder like this under the Windows 10. And inside of that folder, there is a setup that executable file where you can click on it and you, you will try to install it but then it's going to show you this type of error that you saw at the beginning of this video so you need to go ahead and find the setup.ini right click on it and click edit so it's going to open the notepad file which is the setup.ini and uh, through the notepad which is the uh, free um, write uh, edit text utility and uh, if you don't have that go ahead and open in any edit text utility but under the windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 it's a free notepad is free then go ahead and press at the top of the file like that just press left mouse button then you gotta click Control and f uh, key uh, keyboard buttons together it's going to pop up the find uh, window in the find window you gotta type something like this let me go ahead and show it to you pre re uh, site okay and um, just like that and then you're going to search this the whole file for this type of word it's going to be a variable and it's going to have some values so you gotta delete the whole line this is the first line right over here it's about 10 lines let's go ahead and delete it completely highlight it and then backspace okay then find next as again it's going to show to us like that what we want to do uh, let me go ahead and pop it up you want to go ahead and select it all the way and press the backspace click find next again make sure it's going to the down so it's searching the file um, set up that INI all the way from top to the bottom okay it's found right over here we want to go ahead and select it and backspace it to delete it find next about 10 of the lines of the code you gotta delete oop, oop, oop. not that not that one second mm -hmm. sorry about that guys let's go ahead and find exactly here we go right over here delete this guy uh-huh uh-huh let's go up see if anything will yeah we lost it right over here select this guy right here delete it as well backspace okay there is nothing to the up let's go ahead and select direction down and search to the down on the file okay you want to delete this guy as well so about 10 lines of the code with this word you gotta delay it. Okay. And I think one more. Here we go. And one more. So pretty much it's an instruction for this stop file while it's doing some uh, installation and in our case it's a little bit uh, wrongful and that's why it's generating the error because it cannot find some of the lines but okay here we go 
10 of them as you can see guys okay everything is done make sure the direction up as well is done nothing is found excellent let's go ahead and click file save and save that close it and now you can go ahead guys and uh, try to install it again and it's supposed to go without any error let me go ahead and demonstrate it to you let's go ahead and click finish on that it's going to go ahead and open that file with the setup um, that executable click on that setup that executable file double click of mouse left button and it's going to start the installation and this time it's going to do it right without any issues here we go and it's going to pass this type of errors and it's just going to go all the way till it's going to finish the installation of the Autodesk 3ds Max 2020 in my case in your case it can be Autodesk 3ds Max 2019 as well let's go ahead and click install it will take some time and uh, agree to the license by the way guys you can get the free version of the Autodesk 3ds Max 2020 the full version for free for three years if you're a student go ahead and uh, tell them that you're a student that not they're not even going to ask you um, ID student ID and you can go ahead and download the Autodesk 3ds Max 2019 2017 or 2020 and have three years of license for free up to two computers which is amazing completely full uh, Autodesk 3ds Max software but you gotta be in school just go ahead and provide them the school that you're going to and uh, provide them your email register an account and they will they will send you the link to download the full Autodesk 3ds Max um, software for free and license up to three years on two computers okay as you can see it's going now and it will go all the way and it will progress and it will check mark everything what we got the uh, red crosses so we'll check mark it with the green um, check mark and it, it pretty much it will install Autodesk 3ds Max 2020 or 2018 after this fix okay thank you so much guys uh, for watching don't forget to smash that like button so it will help a lot of people subscribe and I will see you in the next videos